Hi, I'm from Silicon Valley Empire. In this video, we will show you how to configure your RAID array logical volumes for a HPE DL360E Proliant server. Let's turn on our machine. Once you see the HP Proliant BIOS loading, we will hit the F10 key to enter intelligent provisioning in order for us to enter the smart array system. Once the intelligent provisioning has loaded, we will now select perform maintenance. Click the button and then select array configuration utility. Once the array configuration utility has loaded, we will select our controller. In this case, we have one dynamic smart array. Select on it and it will load all the drives that you have. In this case, we have eight drives wherein four 500 solid state SAS drive and four 600 spindle SAS drives. I will show you how to configure it using the wizard. On the wizard, we have this option to configure our logical volumes using express configuration or add a logical drive from the free, space, free spaces on our drives. In this case, I'll show you how to do the express configuration. Click on express configuration and it will automatically give you and show you the configuration for a new logical drive in array from four 600 gigabyte SAS drives. You can select either RAID 1 plus 0 or RAID 0. In this case, I'll be selecting RAID 1 plus 0 as because the fault tolerance is on medium and the right performance is in medium. For our solid state drives, we have four 500 gigabyte solid state drives. I will also select one plus zero, RAID one plus zero for medium fault tolerance and medium write performance. And then I'll click next. As it saves its configuration, we click finish. Now we can see that we have two logical drives configured using the default express wizard of the intelligent provisioning. Now, what we're going to do is we will select our bootable logical drive. We go back to configuration and then select bootable logical drive volume. Here, you will set the bootable drive wherein you will install your main operating system that will load in your server. In this case, I select the solid state drive, logical drive 2, for primary boot logical drive volume. Click on the radio button and click on save. Now, your logical volume is ready for operating system installation. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get updates on our latest videos. You can also visit our website www.siliconvalleyenterprise.com and check our products to avail discounts. Please see 